Okay, so this is the Stalker, also known as the Wog. And then, uh, let's just remove these quests. Okay, so this is the Stalker, also known as the Wog. And um, let's have a look at his... Let's have a look at his stats. Now, I do have, I think... Yes, I do have this on. So, there's his... Uh, there's his true health. Now, I have... Now, there's his actual health. I think it's just a little bit lower, because I've, obviously I've ranked up uh, once, I think. And yeah, I've got rank one, so it's not much uh, lower than that. Um, his damage is pretty good. His health, again, is, you know, is alright, considering it's a warlock. Power, it's pretty good. Armor, nah, not so good. Avoidance is, I think, the best of all of them. And resistance, could be better. Now, the thing about the damage is also he also has um, self buffs, which I'll go to in a minute. Here are so this here are his other um, traits if you want to check them out. Okay, so let's have a look at his skills. He has stealth, which makes him invisible. And you also, if you look at the uh, the orange bit. It also says in flare, which I think don't put my way into this is a stance. But um it is um brutal brutal in increases the increases the application chance of doing a brutal bonus. Now here's just a little uh, a little note about this stance. No. Yes rather. Okay, so here's just a little note about this stance. When I do that, the approximate speed is this. And when you're in battle, this is, can be quite annoying because you know you've got to try and oh, let's go and sneak up to Taskmaster over there. If he's walking and in a fight at the same time, it's not quite as easy as that. Now I've actually traded this to increase his speed. So now, if I get rid of the crouch, he does this, which is you know this is a bit faster I think the normal walking speed which is quite good really and you can also apply sprints to this but I won't recommend doing it but yeah so that's stealth now people can um, detect you whilst in stealth only if you, you know stand there for far too long or you pass through them okay so what else do we have let's go to character skills so we've got sprint this is like a in a an escape type skill you can use it whenever you want it's immediate but it sets running speed to sets running speed to 200 percent lasts for 20 seconds costs 73 power and cooldown of 10 minutes let's see that in action so i'm in a fight i press sprint and now i can leg it run away unless there's archers or unless i'm on fire i probably won't die this lasts for 20 seconds as you can see it's lagging a bit just because I think it's because I'm recording at the same time which will do that okay so that's sprint let's have a look at the next skills he has a debuffering skill which is called crippling bite minus 25% running speed to the target lasts for 30 seconds cost 73 power cooldown of 10 seconds now here's the melee skills. Now I'm not going to go through all the different stances that change the skills because there are, are quite a few. But basically, if you're in a certain stance, these skills get better depending on which stance you're in. Now pounds um, changes when you're in when you're in a stealth mode, which I'll show you in a minute. But claws, um, all of these attacks as well besides besides savage fangs have increased damage when attacked from behind so this is kind of you know gives you the um, gives you incentive to do more stealthily attacks from behind okay so this does um, 379, 379 common damage put my teeth in and um, cost 62 power and cooldown of one second so that's pretty good you can spam that over and over and over again so pounds does 474 common damage 
interrupts inductions as well. So if someone's casting a spell that that requires an induction, it can stop that from happening. Cost 62 power, cool down after 10 seconds. Savage Fang doesn't do any damage, but um, it does plus 10% attack durations, so it slows them down whilst attacking, and minus 3,300 block rating, which is pretty good. Duration of 45 seconds, them effects last, cost 95 power, and cool down after 10 seconds. Here we have another melee attack, which uh, does 351 common damage, but also does between 87 to 240, 224 common damage every, every 2 seconds for 10 damage, which isn't all that good, but, you know, every little helps. It costs 62, and also if you get a critical or devastating critical, it reduces incoming health by 25%. That effect is 30 seconds long. Cool down at 5 seconds. So that's all um, his attacks. However, this kind of uh, class is very tactical, as in you can get, so I'll show it, you can get um, different attacks, or these attacks change when you are in a certain stance. So, for example, if I go stealth, if you watch the pounce button, it changes the image. So now it has an added effect of 5 seconds stun. Also increases the damage it's done. But also as well, if I get a critical or a devastating critical, it does 5 seconds knockdown. So having these different stances, there's also a shadow stance, I think, and flail, flare stance, I think, um, increases these attacks, which is uh, pretty cool, I think. But uh, yeah, that's the warg. He is a uh, his his um, health and his armor don't really say, especially his armor don't really say. Let's you know, he's, he's a melee kind of guy. But what he can do is he can sneak up, do a mass amount of damage, and then just kind of leg it basically, or leg it against stealth and then attack again. He's also good, say, if someone's running away because they've only they've only got about a thousand health. If you become in stealth, go behind the enemy, you can then attack uh, a wounded a wounded enemy. But yeah, it is quite fun. And um, you will in, in the start die a lot like with most classes because of his lack of armor, his lack of health. But his health's alright considering he's a, a stealth kind of guy. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the walk.